So children, have you ever tried to hear your heartbeat? Of course you have. Yes. Now you must have seen doctors having this stethoscope. Yeah, that is a, a really nice moment. The first time when you hear, when you wear your uh, Lemon's uh, stethoscope and you have to listen to the heartbeat. You can listen to it very, very clearly. So they uh, place it on your chest in order to hear the heartbeat. Children, have you wondered that this beat, this sound is in a rhythm? It is always in a rhythm. I will use the word rhythm. Whether you are exercising and the pace of the heartbeat is more or you are relaxing and calm and the pace of the heartbeat is less but there is a rhythm. When you dance or when you sing, for example, it can be one, two, three, four. There is a rhythm or one, two, three, four. There is a rhythm but the pace is different. What does that tell us? The presence of rhythm tells us that there is a schematic contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation happening in the heart muscle. And this rhythmic movement is what you hear in that dhak dhak, dhak dhak, dhak dhak. Okay, so contraction and relaxation of the heart muscle is a sure rhythmic function of the heart which leads to heartbeat. The term for contraction is systole and the term for relaxation is diastole. Okay, with me everybody. Systole, diastole. Systole, diastole. Now, this rhythm, this one, two, what is that rhythm is what we are going to discuss now. It is happening. What is happening at one? Like in a dance sequence, you take a certain step at one and you take a certain step at two. You know the structure of the heart, the atria and the ventricles. The stage one in the function, we are going to assume that the heart is in a relaxed state. It is the heart muscle is not contracting. It is in a relaxed state. And that is called as the early joint diastole. Diastole, once again, relaxed. Joint is because both the ventricles and the atria are relaxed. If you look at the structure of the heart at this stage, then both the AV walls, atrioventricular walls, and the semilunar walls. Yes, you know at the level of ventricles, there are semilunar walls. Everything is closed. They are not open because there is no pressure created. Alright, and that is the state of early joint diastole. Assuming that I am starting from a position when the heart is absolutely at a relaxed state. Okay, what happens at this relaxed state? You know. There are arteries and veins connected. There is deoxygenated blood coming from the body tissues. There is oxygenated blood coming from the to the left side of the heart from the lungs. So now the blood fills the atria in early. With me, everybody, pick up your pens. Pick up your pens. In early joint diastole, the blood enters the atria. That's all I want you to write. Moving to the next stage in this particular stage, stage only is the late joint diastole. We are still in the diastole. So as the diastole proceeds, now the blood is filled in the atria. So it is going to exert some pressure. Isn't it? It is going to exert some pressure. But the ventricles are relaxed and the atria are still relaxed. What is happening? Pick up your pens. Late joint diastole. Due to the pressure, the AV walls here will now open. The AV walls here will have to open. The semilunar walls are still closed. Okay, so late joint diastole. Point number one, AV walls open. 
seventy percent of the ventricles get filled. Seventy percent of the ventricles get filled. Okay, because there's no contraction happening. This is just the passive flow of the blood from upper chamber to lower chamber into the ventricles. Stage number two. Keep writing. Your pens are on. You don't need any notes. Atrial systole. Okay, systole is contraction. Please notice this is not joined. First, the atria will contract. With me, everybody, have a look at the image, and then you can write it down. I'll give you time. Ventricles are still diastole or relaxed in atrial systole, but the atria contract. Now, when they contract, it's like a balloon. Yeah, thirty percent of the blood was still there. This contraction is going to put pressure. These walls are open in the previous stage. Rest of the blood, the thirty percent of the blood, also goes down to the ventricles. Now, at this stage, atrial systole, the ventricles are completely filled with blood. The semilunar walls are still closed. Most of the students do this mistake. No, children. Please remember, you can write it down. In atrial systole, semilunar walls are still closed. There's no pressure on them. Let's move further to stage three. In stage three, write it down. Early ventricular systole. You can make your short forms. V S A S. Come on, people. Make it easy. So early ventricular systole. Now ventricles are going to contract. And what will happen? Because it is a rhythm. It is a rhythm. So now atria are relaxed. With me, everybody. So when they contract, AV walls have to be closed. Why AV walls have to be closed, my children? Because I don't want blood to flow back. I don't want blood to flow back into the atria. So AV walls are going to be closed, and this is exactly what I want you to write. Okay. Semilunar walls are closed in the early ventricular systole. In the early VS, only the AV walls, very very important, have to shut down because I don't want blood to go back. Let's move further into late VS. Keep writing with me. Late VS, the ventricle is still contracting. The pressure is increasing. They are contracting. AV walls are closed. Atria are relaxed, and due to this more contraction, now the semilunar walls will open. So, if they ask you in an MCQ, when semilunar walls open today onwards, and this is you have to revise this, children. In late VS, semilunar walls open, and then you know the blood flows through the ventricles. Ventricular contraction causes semilunar walls to open. Blood is pumped into the arteries, and then we go back. This is completion of the one complete cycle. Okay, and then we go back to the early joint diastole from where we started. That is, both are relaxed. Again, the both the atria get filled up. Both the walls are closed. And then late joint. I'm revising it for you. If you've already written it down, please revise with me. Late joint diastole. What will happen? AV walls will open. Now I'm telling you what is important for your MCQ. Not the entire story. Please focus, focus. You should know when the walls open. If you understand the cycle, you will never have to mug up. They open when the atria are filled with blood. And seventy percent of the ventricles fill in late joint diastole. As I move to atrial systole, rest of the blood goes to ventricles. Okay, then early ventricular systole. What will happen? AV walls need to close, close and open. Please remember when it happens. Late ventricular systole, semilunar walls will open, and finally. the cardiac cycle is completed